Hello students. The students who are watching this video make sure that they, they should see the previous part of this video. In previous video, we are talking about the types of matrices and definition of matrices. Now we are talking about or discussing about the operations on matrices. What are they? Like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Firstly, we are discussing about addition of matrices. To add two matrices, you have to make sure that addition can be op operated on those two matrices whose order will be same, whose order must be same, okay? See here. If we have to add these two matrices, the order of this matrix is 2 by 2, the order of this matrix is 2 by 2. How can we say this? Number of rows is 2 here and number of columns also 2 here. Just like in that. Now, add this 1 and 2. Subsequent position, corresponding position, on corresponding position you have to add these two elements. 1 and 2 make 3, 2 and 5, 7, 3 or 6, 9, 4 or 3, 7. Here we go, this is our answer. And also, we get the same order of their parental matrices. Okay? Now listen to me. If you want to add these two matrices, then this results into none. Because, because the order of this matrix is 2 by 2. And the order of this matrix is 2 by 3. Okay? As order is not same, so operation cannot be done. Okay? Now, if we are talking about subtraction, just like addition, subtraction takes place. We take the same example. Subtract one, uh, 2 from 1, that means minus 1. Take corresponding position. 2 minus 1, that is minus 3. 3 minus 6, that is minus 3. And 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay? And rules follow the same. That means if we want to operate subtraction on these matrices, then the order must be the same. Okay? Next, multiplication of two matrices. This is a complicated topic. Listen to me very carefully. Multiplication of matrices. To multiply any two matrices, the condition is that if order of first matrix is this and order of second matrix is this, then only multiplication takes place. That means columns of first matrix must be equal to row of second matrix. Okay? Like this. We have to multiply these two matrices. The order of this matrix is 2 by 2, 2 by 2. As we see here, number of column is equal to number of row of second matrix. So what will happen now is that, take first row with first column as the numbers are like this. First row, first column, first row, second column, second row, first column, second row, second column. You have to find out the value of the number who is positioned as first row, first column. So we take first row and first column, multiply this. 5 to the 10. Addition is applied on these. 5 to 10 plus 4 to the 12. Okay, now what we have to find out is first row, second column. First show, second column. 2, 6, 12. 4, 2, 8. Now, second row, first column. Second row, first column. 5, 3, 
15. 5 threes are 15. Second row, second column, 3 6 are 18. 5 twos are 10. So what will we get is that 22, 12 and 8, 20, 15 and 15, 30, 18 and 10, 28. Have you got this? Alright. Now, here the example is that the order of both of the matrices is same. Now, take an example of that matrix whose order is not same. Like this. The order of this matrix is second two rows, three columns. So, this is 3 by 2. 3 by 3. Okay? 3 rows, 3 columns. What will we see here is that the condition for matrix is that the column of first matrix must be equal to the row of second matrix which is applied here. So the matrix which is formed now is of order this is of order n by p. Okay? That means 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 note here. 2 rows. First row, second row. 3 columns. We have to make matrix like this. So what will happen? First row First column, 1, 1, 1, plus 2, 4 is 8, plus 6, 3 is 80. Okay? Now, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1 is 2, 5, 2 is 10, 3, 3 is 9. Now, 1, 3, first row, third column, take this. 3 1 is 3, 6 2 is 12, 3 2 is 6. Alright? Next, second row first column, second row first column, 4 1 is 4, 5 4 is 20, 6 6 is 36, second row second column, 4 2 is 8, 5 5 is 25, 6 3 is 18. Now, second row, third column. 4 is are 12. 6 5 is 30. And 6 2 is 12. So, what we get here is that 9 and 18, 27. 12 and 9, 21. 15 and 6, 21. 24 and 36, 16. 25. And 26, 51, 24 and 13, 54, okay? This is our answer, that is of 2 by 3 automatic. Clear? Now, we are talking about division of matrix. Two matrices cannot be divided further, but they can be divided by a scalar like this. So this becomes 2 by 1 by 4 is multiplied. Or 4 is divided to each and every element of this matrix. What will happen now? 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 4 by 4, 4 by 4, 5 by 4, 6 by 4. Okay, this is our answer or you can also simplify this into further small values. Alright, rest of the topic we will discuss in our next video. Thank you.